set to have here at MSM Online. Number six. Man, we've had six of these already? Yeah. I don't know about you all. I'm ready Dude, to get back to the hotel. <laughs> Honestly, I am too. That's why I made a meme today. I was like, I miss, I miss it so much, man. The people. God, I, I gotta say, I thought this before, but yeah, Grayson's definitely the hypest Rob. Dang, the hypest Rob? Yeah. Did you not see these plays? Oh, I did. <laughs> I was, I mean, I was here. I saw everything. <laughs> This man brought everything full force, man. He knew I was not going to go down without a fight. Bro, he footstooled him, and then he got a zero to death. Like, come on, bro. And he didn't even use the cheesy Rob kill with the side D. Oh, but he tried. <laughs> he definitely tried. <laughs> oh, well, congrats, hey. Grayson. I don't know about this matchup. I feel like I've never seen it, actually. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> Yo, Tony is just, this guy is not, he's not running away with Sonic, man. He's just trying to fight <laughs> like it. I'm a big fan of Tony, man. He, uh, he likes to run in danger. This is like how Sonic should be played. Or at least like true to his character. You know, Sonic always running into danger and facing his opponent. Yeah. Isn't there like a time limit in Sonic on these stages? Yes, there is. There actually is. So, like, he actually shouldn't be running the clock, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> what if, like, it was like Sonic if he runs the clock and just loses? He, <laughs> he actually does. Like, even if you have all the rings, you actually, like. Yeah, you actually no, die. like, in Smash, though, what if they did that? No. He loses. <laughs> just like, more accurate. Instead of a draw, it's always, it's always an L. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sakurai is like, yeah, in this next Smash update, you wanted Sonic to be more like his original game. He loses if he runs out of time. <laughs> anyway, in spite of how amazing Tony was playing, um, he actually lost the first stock. Yeah, Mysterica is able to clean up and even like escaping the ledge. These, these Nair out of shield is really going to give uh, Tony some trouble. Yeah. If I just think about it, like, I, I feel like Palu's kid in general is just really approaches. Like, has a good projectile, like, has long-lasting hitboxes, decent combos, can punish landings, like, Sonic has a terrible landing. Yeah, this seems like a rough matchup for Sonic, honestly. Especially when he's behind. Oh, I like the falling there into up tilt, very tricky. Yeah, see, like, Mysterio is not even afraid to just go full screen and wait because well, I, what's what's the risk? And that was a super good punish on the homie attack. Dash out of down smash to catch, like, any type of landing leg. That was really good. Yeah, Mysterio is really showing confidence in this matchup. Not many players would uh, run up down smash to punish homing attack. Another... These nares on the platforms just cover the entire platform, not giving Tony much room to work with. Oh, great tag. Yeah, good back air to clip. Ooh. Another back air. Mysterica gonna drop that stock. Yeah, just throw up two of them. Why not? You know, probably gonna air dodge anyway. Yeah. A low cooldown on yeah. back air? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. And again, I'm um, seeing Mysterica punish that homie attack with the down smash. It's very knowledgeable of how to punish that move. I like that play, trying to convert to a back air off of the down air. Yeah. Pretty solid. This uh, Stereo is spacing in general in this matchup. Very pristine, honestly. Just always throwing out the right hitbox to deal with whatever uh, Tony's throwing. I mean, we can even see some of the skill there with the platform cancels. Yeah, the teleport teleports. cancels are making it very difficult for <laughs> Uh, Tony to approach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it's the play, but that's because uh, it's good because like he's forced to do something with the spin dash when he's charging it like that, but like you can't really do anything about the teleport cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the teleport cancel is like really, really good. 
But, and you even saw Mysterica try to sneak into uh, the auto reticle, but like Sonic is actually fast enough to catch up all, from all the way across the stage, especially in Town City. That shows a lot. Yeah, this is. Uh, I, I would just hang back if I'm a stair up right here. Oh, that could have been. Wait, hold yeah, up. Yeah, I think uh, I think Tony was like waiting for the reaction. Oh from no! Play, uh, falling forward hair at 84 percent. Wow. And, and that was actually Mysterica's fault because initially Mysterica buffered. Uh, not, I don't know if buffered or not, but like they went for a directional air dodge. So that kind of caused the cooldown to happen, and then Tony, do you think I have enough time to go for forward air off stage? Yeah, that's rough. Honestly, so I got put in like a really bad position like three separate times and like Tony just punished the three times. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I really felt like Mr. kind of had that one in the bag. Mysterica is like a great player. I'm sure that Mysterica will play more grounded and wait for Tony's approach just so that they can abuse those amazing tools that Politana has. Yeah, honestly, um, I don't think like Mysterica has to do too many changes, if any. Oh, it just seemed like a really unfortunate play at the end. I I just felt that Mysterica had a pretty good handle on the matchup. That's probably yeah, definitely knowledgeable, and you could tell in game one that Mysterica knew when to go to for certain options. Punishing like tools that we don't exactly see get punished from Sonic. Like even retreating back to these platforms, you know that Sonics will want to approach with spin dash. But look at that, Tony uh, committing to an early homing attack while Mysterica tries to retreat into the air. Yeah. Seems in this game, especially though, uh, Mysterica is trying to play a lot more like defensive game. Really, just hang back and wait for Tony to approach or something. And I don't know, I don't know, if, uh, I don't know if I super agree with it. Tony is this game tons of free punches now. Yeah, initially Mysterica started off pretty strong, like enough to like punish Sonic from going for aerials, having uh, challenging Sonic with. Aerials as well, teleport canceling, but like it's the fact that like Sonic still has speed enough to like go up against Palutena and even do some damage on her. Like the fact that he bounced off a shield from homing attack and was able to be spaced off away from forward smash was like just goes to show how Tony can just play this matchup a little bit. Yeah, yep. homing attack, like they can air dodge after like directional air dodge, so it's like not super easy to punish that shield for most people. Exactly. I, I think at that point, if I just see homing attack, I would start accounting for like, okay, this is where I want to be after the move, not what this is what I want to be afterwards. Yeah. Sometimes you can just spot dodge it, and then they'll do like a ground bounce so you can punish it easier. Even then, like, but, that punish isn't going to be too big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not and, like you'll get a stock a lot of times. And it's difficult too because the timing on homing attack is like, oh, I can just hold it. <laughs> like an extra second longer and good luck reading that one. That was good. Wanted to challenge something up there with up air, but unfortunately lost it. Oh, and caught in the middle of an aerial there. Really good stuff on Mr. Erica. Just go for the grab and go for the back throw. Take care of the stock as soon as possible. It was a little, maybe a little too late there, but 108 at two stocks a piece. Each player, you know, there's definitely a, com a comeback that could be happening. Yeah, there's an air into a forward air. Uh, Man, that forward air, I don't know if it just has insane knockback growth, but it it's killed every time off stage. So far from what I've seen, yeah, it's it's done a lot of work. I, yeah, I, I think like I think like Sonic and Falco have arguably like two of the strongest like multiple hit forward airs. I still think like Tony isn't going for forward airs outside of kill confirms. Yeah. So it's usually it's not staled, and at that point, they're so far off the ledge anyways, that yeah, they're gonna die. Yeah. 
Damn. Sterica having a little bit of trouble getting in on Tony. Ooh, big S smash, but Sterica gonna get the shield up just in time. Nice, Tony kind of taking his time and trying to move around there. I like the fact that like he was really well aware of like, okay, I'm up in the sky, I gotta be careful. It's upper city here. So it'll come out of the teleport for back air, close enough with the side special, but nice up smash, finally finishing it off. And I think at this point, like, Tony kind of knows, like, all right, I got Mysterica a little bit on the ropes here. I can afford to just kind of, like, go for a couple different things. Be a little bit aggressive, you know, trying to show off in and out of, like, Mysterica. Yeah, but remember, earlier in the day, we already saw how that aggression, uh, aggression had really kind of played against Tony. Yeah, and I, and I think he's kind of, like, looking out for that a little bit, too, as well. We'll see. Different, different, uh, different character. But looking like, I think like he might be understanding that, you know what, yeah, my aggression may be too much. I don't mind if I'm running the clock a little bit. There's two minutes on it here. I'm at 34 to 107. At this point, any hit I get here is a bonus play, and I'll wait for the opportunity to get a confirm into a kill confirm. Falling explosive flames can put a little bit of damage. Ooh, Another close. explosive nope. flame. All nice. these projectiles. Yo, and that's it. No, not nope. enough. 111. Nope. Two minutes on the clock here. I mean, literally, Mr. Eric kind of forced Tony to be like a little bit more cautious now, seeing as he got hit by literally two explosive flames and then an auto radical. All the special attacks landed. Yeah. But also, Tony's like really well aware. Of, like, there's still a deficit. There's still a 30% deficit, and I'm not making a move until I can get a kill confirm. Like, see, like, like oh, such. Parents. Oh, Ooh, right. that was such a weird hitbox. That was very weird. And the taunt too. Mm. The, the, the back air is like one of the moves where like the hitbox is actually a little bit bigger than what it looks like. More than what you would expect. Like where you see his fist and his whole leg is actually the hitbox. And looking at the frame data, it's just slightly disjointed. Words aerial. And then if I'm not mistaken, Palutena is... Um, teleport, it's not like a frame one move or anything. I think it's got some, I think it's got like at least somewhere between like five or six frames of lag before she can actually teleport. Ready? Oh, Bayonetta. Ooh, bringing out the classic. Instead of bringing out the Smash 4 main. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I know this was like a matchup in four for Bale. At least decent. But yeah. I don't know how it works in this game. I'm assuming. Mainly, it's what, mainly what made it good was just that like Bale could play like even better defensive game, especially on than uh, than Sonic could. And could kill really early. So that's music. that's what made it really good, but now it's kind of struggles to kill. It's not as easy as it was before. Yeah, I think the one thing that she still has is a little bit of the combos, but they can be SDI'd out if you know the right ones too as well. I think what Mysterica is trying to rely on these like active hitboxes that she's able to throw out. Yeah, she's gonna have trouble killing, but I think you know spacing those back air is really gonna be where it shines for Mysterica. Okay, good mix-up. Saw the back air to pressure Tony in the corner and then Mysterica was able to punish with the forward throw. Yeah. Pretty tough there being off stage. Of course, Bale still has three jumps. What? He just homie was... attack to yeah, death? He, he homie attacked to death and that was actually because he was going for that whole three jump maneuver. Get to the back air though, two stocks to one, but he, I'm sorry, if I were Tony's you tank, I would actually be kicking myself for that one, because you actually did homing attack to death. Wow. And that was all on you. Huh. The witch is still somewhat broken. In some areas, at least. Well, I still think they and that on a stage like this, um, Really good at forcing Sonic to approach, especially with the lead that uh, Mysterica has in this position. So, like, 
<laughs> to the air dodge. Decker doesn't there. really need to try to go for the kill per se. Like, you can just kind of hang back and let Tony just run into all these, you know, combos as you can see. But oh, that can that border can kill off the top. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Oh, it is dead. I even threw in a little bit of taunt flare as well. Yeah, that was a fresh wish time, so he like, yeah. <laughs> He was in the full duration of the move. You can I do mean, whatever you want. I mean, let's be real, man. How many times have you seen a Bayonetta on the stream, but only that a Bayonetta, like, actually on the, the literally, like, the YouTube videos? Thumbnail? Yeah. Not too many of them. Sorry, I, like, cut off for a second. I was like, wait, hold on. Definitely putting Bayo in this video. Two games yeah. fail? Yeah. I feel like people like to watch Bayo now since she's so um, rare. I think it's still a character that I've always enjoyed watching even before at some points. It's just, yeah, you're right. It's also because it's so rare, but also the fight is different. I don't know. I think people like to watch it just so they can be like, hate more. Like, look, <laughs> at, watch look at her. Move. Look at her try and kill. <laughs> <laughs> Must be cute. <laughs> Yeah, there's like actually a lot of people like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm one of them. <laughs> I was actually playing a lot of uh, Bale in this game, just cause. I like... mean, weren't we all when it came out initially? No. What? No. I'm trying to see if the character was actually fixed or still broken or any case. No, MKLeo did his job. This character's yep. dead. <laughs> Plub, Plub died for our sins and MKLeo did his job. <laughs> I, I was just trying to say, like, I still think she's pretty fun to play, even though she's, you know, she's not top tier. She can be as fun as, she can be the funnest character, as long as she's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being, being fun in Smash doesn't get you the W, bro. <laughs> I think that's something that a lot of us have learned. Oh, nice. good call out, good call out. That's actually so, that's like a free witch time, isn't it? Yeah. Unless he does like it the is. stall, if he does like the stalled one. It's like really this. on Mysterica to react to when homing attack gets released. Yeah. But yeah, it's, you're telegraphed what you're going to do. And I think it's also because of the initial frames in which the actual hitbox is active uh -oh. for homing attack is what causes the activation of witch time. There. Like the link with the, the up till at the end, that combo Tony's the tank was putting out. Tony's a tank. You know what I mean? Typically, isn't really a defensive player. He's taking his time. Yeah, we've seen him be aggressive, but I feel like he's kind of learning now. <laughs> With the way he's been going up against Miss Erica at this point, especially against Bayonetta, you kind of can't be over aggressive. Because, like you've seen, you will get punished by Witch Time, you will get punished by any one of her moves, especially uh, for Bayonetta. And that can mean either massive damage, and in some, you know, more rare cases, death because of Witch Time, or because of, like, a hard read. That spin dash into forward air, gonna put Mysteric on the ledge again. A quick escape from Tony. Yeah, I also think uh, just the way that Mysteric is playing, um, Tony's like, okay, if this guy's willing to play like super and like get me out, I have no reason to like not to not do the same. Mm -hmm. But even then, when it comes up to like the camping war, Bayonetta, if she just holds her aerials, she still gets the guns. And they can actually still hit you for just like some small percent of damage, and that's still a lot. It'll add up. Yeah, but even those bullets have a specific range, so... Yeah, yeah that's true. How wide the stage is, really easy for Tony to just uh, get out of that range. 
surprised he didn't see the wish time come out there. I guess he wants to save it for when it'll kill. Yeah, it's better to have like a fresh one than an, than an overused one too. Ooh. Nice, read the directional air dodge in too. I think that's one thing that Tony's been doing a lot is he, when he directional air dodges, he gets hit and he immediately goes towards the stage. Oh great, oh. the witch twist. Yeah, at this point, like, any percent Mysterio gets is just super good. I don't even need to get the kill. Yeah, just ref like, refresh the jumps. Oh, bad trade though. With the ABK there. Oh, dash for forward air, put a little Dang. bit of Almost a 30%. One combo from Spin Dash. Spinning in Bayo does way more than that. Nice, we see the character kind of take the time here. Yeah, we thought they were going to do like 50%, 60% with one combo earlier. I think this yeah. is the transformation for Bayo. Uh, oh! Uh-oh. Gonna take him to the he top? Gets, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was close, but like you said, right, if he doesn't get the hit of the forward air, it would have killed, but he didn't have oh. time. Yep. That's uh, a great read. That is a great read. And he knows what he's gonna do it every single time. That was really good with time on the spin dash. Especially in that position where like Tony's like, okay, like we're down to like a last hit, like the time's running out. Like I, I need to make something happen, like you know. But Mysterica kind of two steps ahead there. Yeah, and Mysterica's Bayonetta is going to take us to a game five. Did not expect a Bayonetta to appear today, but yeah, what can I Bayonetta, say? Anything happens online, right? The Bayonetta uh, game the reverse 3 0, right? I was going to say, yeah, not only Bayonetta to appear, but Bayonetta to get a reverse 3 0 and a Bayonetta online. Just in general, it definitely is a, a kind oh. of uh, omen in a sense. I'm kind of uh, kind of surprised Tony is letting um, is taking Mysterica back to the stage. I think this transformation on this stage is like super good. The only way Mysterica is winning, <laughs> like Bayonetta can run away so easily with these platforms and like force him to approach. But I think Tony's like like okay, as long as I have a, a decent lead, then I'll have to work. Oh man, nice. this dude's combo though, yeah. Bayonetta's no. damage output. Kind of still ridiculous, especially if your SDI isn't all point. And yep. they're taking that all the way to the bank right now. I would be scared to use homing attack if I was Tony. I think, I think that's something like where we're kind of seeing too. At that situation, he only used homing attack because Mr. Erica wasn't punching from above. But like, if he was on the ground, I think that's something we're seeing Tony definitely starting to just stuff. Oh. Wow. What a call out. I think the best thing about uh, this bail pick is that he went bail after Tony taunted him. So <laughs> now he's just like, all right, you want taunts? I I'm going to pick the character that has some of the most, like, Tilting taunts in the game. <laughs> and I'm gonna be. Oh. Well, we're living. Wow. Oh. oh, no. That's not how you wanna go out. I mean, what? smart on Mysterica for recovering high as seeing the humming attack coming out. Just gonna be able to recover in a position where the humming attack isn't even going to register. Wait, is that what happened? Like, yeah. He. He went into the blast zone and then, like, he missed because he tried to chase him there and he died. That's what happened with that? I didn't well, know that could typically, <laughs> most characters wouldn't be able to go that high. Yeah, and that happened the last game, too, against Bayo, the other game, so... I'm not surprised Damn. this time around to see it again. I'll say, like, any other character that prob like that positioning a homing attack is, is good because they're going to either recover low or they're going to try and do a horizontal recover. Uh, but... Bayonetta, not exactly like every other recovery, right? Mysterica, oh, yeah. I like yeah, the way the roll. Yeah, I like the way the Mysterica always goes for that double heel slide too, as well. Just yeah, catching Tony like, a little bit off guard. I like the double heel slide a lot. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna see it, but like, Wisteria could definitely like run the time uh, if they want in this position, especially when like the tri-platform layout comes back. It should be pretty soon. Oh, wait, man. Oh, wait. We don't got time to run out the clock. We got more oh, up man. smashes. Not even a witch time this time to, uh, in order to connect it. I think he just got the bounce from the spin dash, like right when he bounced in the air. Yeah, I, I think that was still really well played from Hysterica because he's. Hysterica's really well aware of, like,